So, my friends, this will be my PCAMs for World 2024. They will be quite influenced by the fact that I believe in Europe and some people can call me Gamers completely... Gamers www.777 playing depression dodo do go 99 bread burloobs dot www do dot 7777 Okay, I need to add a skip button for this, but anyway, going back, we are definitely uh, going to be copium Inc. for Europe, because obviously we want Europe to do well. NNA, I think, as much as people did have some weird comments online, um, and FlyQuest will or might become one of the most hated teams now, considering how cocky they are, without really achieving much, winning LCS once. Um, maybe, possibly, we do count FlyQuest and we do count NA and EU, because the West ha must unite to actually have any chances, I feel like, of making quarterfinals. Currently, we are going to do PCAMs only for the overall worlds and then the first stage of the tournament which will be the play-ins as I think PCAMs for the later stages of tournament won't be possible. So let's start. What will be the duration of the longest single game at worlds? Longest single game at worlds 2023. I don't remember what was the longest game in 2024 i think it should be around 45 to 4 i think that was my peak last year as well from 45 to 49 and honestly it's very unlikely because the meta right now um there is a lot of ad carries in the meta and actually we did see some long games th throughout the whole regions like in lpl and L mostly in lck actually some in europe but i i feel like 45 to 49 is the safe bet I think over 50 minutes is just something that Riot hates and Riot doesn't want the games to be so long. Um, 55 plus definitely not. So I think 45 uh, or less. It's also a safe bet. I think it's between one or two. I'm just going to go 45, 49. I think that's the safest. Um, since right now we have a lot of AD carries in the meta and AD carries need time to scale and there's a lot of split push and I don't think the meta is going to change for worlds. So I feel like having this 45 to 50 minute window is the safest. How many pentakills will be there at Worlds? I, I, this, that, this is always the hardest question. I think last Worlds we didn't have a single pentakill, did we? Did we actually have a single pentakill? But this year we have Smolder. Last year, Smolder did not exist. This year, Smolder exists. And Smolder is a pentakill machine, absolutely. So because Smolder is now at Worlds, I think we might see three plus pentakills. That is due to Smolder. I think unless he's most banned champion, which he might just be, uh, I feel like Smolder is a great champion to get pentakills with, so I feel like I must just put 3+. Tri tri uh, I think maybe Jinx will be meta as well, because currently Lethality Jinx is played in solo queue throughout the whole regions, like all regions, so maybe Jinx, Lethality, maybe Smolder will deliver the pentakills. Which Drake will be killed the most at Worlds? Okay, this is obviously the most tricky, because it's completely random. Th this has whatsoever... No one can guess this, because it's always so random. I think I'm gonna help myself and use a website most common drakes worlds 2023 cloud drake infernal the the the, the two most captured dragons at worlds 2023 are the infernal and mountain drakes respectively sitting at 65 and 63 i feel like this is the most random it's 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 completely random we, we might have just only cloud drakes we might only have infernal drakes i feel like people normally really like infernal drakes so i'm just gonna go with infernal because people will prioritize it hev heavily uh, and it's Infernal. It's pretty cool, right? I also wish I had Infernal. How many Baron Steels will be there at Worlds? Mm, well, there was this, this BO5 between T1 and between uh, DRX. That was two years ago. And there was a lot of Baron Steels back then. Um, I am not sure about this one, honestly. I feel like Baron Steels are always tricky. I could help myself as well, but I think I'm just gonna flip it instead. I feel like this could be 9+. I mean, it depends how stable the games are. Normally, currently, how teams get Nashes, unless it's... L so, LCK, LPL teams, they do flip Nashes a bit to make the game faster for Europe and for, Ch uh, for Europe and NA. I think people are playing safe. So there is not that many things happening in the games, which means normally people get uh, Nashor after a team fight, so there is no chance of a steal. I think 6-8 is a safe bet. Mm, it's not that high as 9+, plus, but at the same it's not super low. Uh, there's a lot of games at Worlds, obviously, so let's just flip it. I, I think, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm the least confident about this. I, about these three, I'm somewhat confident. About this one, I'm really not confident. How many reverse sweeps will be there at Worlds out of seven total BO5s? I think zero. Did we have any reverse sweeps last Worlds? I think we had one or two, no? I swear there was a one, maybe. But I feel like we shouldn't have any reverse sweeps. 
Yeah, my, my chat is helping me with one or zero. Because statistically one is a good one. But okay, who potentially could reverse sweep it? Okay, I can see it. I can see G2 in the finals against Gen G going zero to down, then subbing in someone and then completely devouring Gen G3 and 2. Who are they gonna sub in? I'm not sure. Or it, and then when it's 2 2, T1 subs in Reckless their sub for Worlds and then dominates G2 and then Reckless is the Worlds winner and we have the first European player since 15 years who won Worlds. Okay, I like it. I, I, I like it. I actually like it putting it at one. I believe that there will be one reverse sweep. Next, champions. Who will be, the, who will be played in the most different roles at Worlds? Uh, I think it's going to be Smolder actually. I think Smolder could be potentially flexed to bot lane, but also will definitely be played mid lane and top lane. That's three roles that I can see Smolder in. There is also Poppy who is support jungle top that's also three roles but i don't know how likely it is that we are gonna see poppy jungle but i guess poppy smolder are quite safe mm, i don't see gragas as a support i think gragas could be flexed only to mid and top i think gragas jungle very unlikely could happen gragas poppy and smolder i mean now added to the game hmm i don't think sejuani is a big flex i don't think tristana is gonna be flexed that much some teams could play LeBlanc top, mid, and support, but also rather unlikely. It's either Smolder or Poppy, really. There is no... I mean, it could also be Zeri. I guess Zeri can be meta top, mid, and AD. But I feel like if you put Zeri, why not just pick Smolder? Smolder, I guess, could be maybe the most banned, though. Okay, I will go with... Sm okay, I'm just gonna flip it. I'm just gonna go with Smolder. I don't know why, but I have I have some confidence that Smolder is gonna be picked a lot. Who will be picked the most? Oh, wow, this is tough. So the, the, the tricky part about who will be picked the most, the tricky part about this is this has to be a champion that will not get banned. So it's not high priority to get banned, but will be good blind pick. I think it's a it's either Cassante. Okay, for top lane it could be Cassante. For AD carry it could be Jean. I feel like Jean may be the one. I feel like Jean may not be banned a lot, but is a safe blind pick and people don't really... For some reason, people don't see how powerful it is. So I feel like Jean could be a good one. Maybe something like Ezreal is a decent blind pick, but he did get banned a lot. Uh, I don't think it's going to be Tristana because I, Tristana got decent nerfs. I think it's Cassante though. I mean, it's either Jean or Cassante. I feel like Cassante is a, such a great blind pick. But obviously now that there are champions like Smolder top lane in the meta, then Cassante is less... Some teams will not pick Cassante because they'll be scared of getting smoldered, getting Aatroxed, getting Renektoned, getting Garand. Maybe Ash has an AD carry, but Ash could also be banned. Ash is a champion that wins lane hard. So the reason why I don't see Ash as a potential blind pick is because I think Ash could be banned a lot. Just judging by the fact that it's a strong champion and, and might as well just be banned a lot. And Kaiser is not an easy blind pick, so I'm just going to stay with Jin. Who be banned the most? This is very difficult, chat. I, I actually don't know who to pick here. I, you know, I, I, I would like to pick Smolder, but I'm not sure if he will be that high of a ban. So this is very tricky because different champions have different priorities. And obviously, priorities at worst change. We are going to see slightly different meta in play-ins. And we are going to see slightly different meta in the group stage or the knockout stage. And then we are going to see slightly different meta in quarterfinals and so on. So this is very, very tricky. It's not easy to judge. I think there could be jungle champions like Sejuani, Maokai, Ivern. I think this could be Smolder. I think this could be champions like Jinx even or Caitlyn if they are meta. Maybe Ash is meta. If Caitlyn is meta, I can definitely see teams banning Kedarot because many bot lanes don't want to play Caitlyn and can't play Caitlyn themselves. Uh, especially Western bot lanes, I think we have what Caitlyn. Who can play Caitlyn in Europe? Maybe I mean I can see Hansama playing Caitlyn somewhat, but Hansama is never big of a Caitlyn player. He was not. I I don't think Noah is a bit of a Caitlyn player. I don't know how meta is Senna, but Senna is a good one. I think Senna could be banned a lot because again some t teams could flex it very well and some couldn't. And I'm not sure if Aurora is available. Is Aurora available at Worlds? Is Aurora available? Hmm. But Aurora got nerfed so heavily that Aurora might not be banned that often. I would be, I, I will, it's, I, I think it's either Aurora, Maokai or Ash. But Maokai got nerfed, Ash didn't. I feel like it's either Aurora or it's Ash. I feel like Ash may be better pick. So I'm not sure what is better here. But I will put Aurora as it's a new champion. Uh, I don't think Yona is going to be banned every game because I think there is not many great Yona players. Look at Faker. Who will have the most total deaths at Worlds? Uh, Mickey X. 
Oh, he's champion. Mm, Nautilus. This is only if Nautilus is meta. If Nautilus or Leon are meta, these two champions will permanently die. It could even be Cassante. I think Cassante is really good at dying. It's either Naut, Leona or Cassante. Cassante can work for teams like Gen.G where they don't die a lot, but if Western teams are gonna blind pick lock in Cassante, they, they will end. I don't think Alistar dies as easily and I don't think Rel uh, dies as easily either. You have to, okay, when you consider the total deaths at Worlds from a champion, you need to understand it has to be a champion that play that is often picked because only often picked champions can die a lot it cannot be a champion that is rarely picked like brom or like poppy because these champs are not gonna be often picked so you cannot pick them as most die dying i think i'm gonna pick now but this could be bad because i don't know how many teams are gonna actually play this champion maybe i should pick leona instead especially that lpl loves leona actually hmm, maybe i should pick leona instead of now i think leona now are safe choices though could also be renekton or cassante I'm also thinking most picked could be Viego because I think Viego is bad in solo queue, bad in competitive. Viego is, is you know, it's a great blind pick in the jungle. There is no counter to Viego. You just pick Viego, you will no matter what be fine. So I feel like this could be a good one. There is some stats for the last year pick -ems. My chat is helping me out here. Baron steals only four. Lul, champion, most, most rolls Ash, most picked Kai'Sa, most banned Nico, most deads Rel? Wow, now is not even in the top. Okay, but that's because people people didn't pick Naud back then. People really didn't pick Nautilus. That's the problem. So I feel like putting Leona might be a mistake. And Leona did get nerfed. Okay, I'm gonna put put, put Rel. I, no, but Rel was jungling as yeah, last words. Rel Rel was jungling as well as she was a uh, support. So I cannot pick Rel. Rel is a bad choice because Rel is only support now. She's not gonna be picked that much. Uh, it's either now or Leona. So difficult. Okay, maybe I'll go back to it later. Uh, who will have the highest win rate at Worlds? Minimum five games played. This is I think quite easy. Actually, no, I take it back. It's not easy. Should I pick Aurora? I feel like the teams that will not ban Aurora and pick her, or rather, the teams that will leave Aurora open will most likely know what to do against it. Mm, I could pick... What about Zix, actually? Chad, what about Zix? I feel like Zix is quite a... You need to build a good combo around it. The problem is if bad players play Zix. I could go Yone, but... You, but mm, LeBlanc... I mean, LeBlanc is not a terrible one. I would love to see Caps Humanoid play LeBlanc. Oh, wait, but Yappa plays Ziggs. The Team Liquid mid laner Appa. Uh, not Yappa, a a APA. He plays Ziggs. Uh, and, and Team Liquid is going to lose games. So I feel like... But uh, as well, it could be banned against them, I guess. The problem... Okay, so this is very tricky, right? <laughs> but let's be honest. Most of the Western teams that are going to Worlds are going to crash and burn, okay? Let's just be honest. It's much nicer to pick a champion that only Korean teams or Chinese teams play because that's a higher chance they will have a lot of wins. What about Kaylin or Nidali? What about Nidali, chat? Do, I don't think any Western team will play Nidali, but I can see some really good junglers playing Nidali. Obviously, I'm not at Worlds, but I would play it if, if I was. But what about Nidali? I'm a jungle main. What if I pick a jungle main champion? Okay, this is very copium. I don't think this could, will be correct. Honestly, I'm like 99% confident that I'm gonna lose. Actually, wait, Merwin plays Nidali top lane. Merwin plays Nidali top lane and Mad Lions are in players. Okay, let's just move on, maybe come back to that later. Players! Who will be the most different the most different champions at Worlds? Yeah, I think it's gonna be either Gumayusi or... It could be Keria, it could be Guma, maybe Guma. It also has to be a player that will play for the whole tournament. It cannot be someone who will... Um, who will quickly, quickly lose. I think I had Keria before. What about Chovy? But there's no mid laners. There's, look, from last year, there's a lot of AD carries. And there's Shio with nine. There's a lot of AD carries, as you can see. And I feel like this could be similar. I actually own as a support, not AD carry, but still. It could be Merwin. Honestly, Merwin plays a lot of champions only if Mad Lions make it far. I think, no, actually, I think last year I picked Mickey and, and it was not a good choice. Who will have the most kills in a single game at Worlds? This could be Chovy, but I think I'm gonna go with Pace. I think AD carries are actually the same. It's either Pace or Elk. I think Elk is a great choice too. I think Elk or Pace. BLG Elk or Pace from, from Gen G. I think it, it AD, speaking AD carries is safe though. So I think it's either these two. Viper for Hanwa. There's so many great AD carries. 
Honestly, I would be even confident to put Hansama there. No, actually, I'm trolling. I, no, what am I even saying? I, I will put pace. I mean, Hansama is a great choice if you choose between Western players, but not... What about we put Caps, guys? What about we put Caps? Oh, what if we put Yike? What if we put Yike? No, wait, I don't think I should. I don't think I should because I don't think jungle meta is gonna be carry-oriented, but... I can see Yike playing Viego and popping off. Viego is gonna be meta, and Yike is one of our best Viego players in Europe. Honestly, Yike might be the best Western Viego at Worlds. It's either him or Inspired, I think, for like the best Western Viego. I think Razorg and Elioia are not the best on Viego, and I don't even know who else plays from NA besides Inspired. Actually, there is Umti. I'm not sure how good is Umti on Viego. But basically, if Viego is meta, I can see a jungler having a lot of kills because obviously you can kill steal everything. But at the same time, maybe I should pick a player that will make it to finals. So maybe pace. I'm confident Gen.G is gonna make it far. Who will have the highest KD at Worlds? <laughs> Honestly, I feel if Reckless gets to play at least one game, you know, Reckless is a great choice. Like, it's a great choice. Reckless on support, I don't think he's gonna die a lot. He plays mostly range supports. The only problem is, I don't know if Reckless is gonna get to play. But if he gets to play ever, then I feel like it would be a really good choice. If not the Reckless, then who else could it be? Who was their last? Iguma, Yusi and Keria were so high in pace as well. I don't know. I feel like T1, considering they are going as the, as the fourth seed... Scout? What do you mean Scout? Scout is not even participating. What do you mean Scout? You know it's Yaga or not Scout, right? I think. Or, or am I trolling? Wait, who is not participating? One of the mid laners is not participating. Was it Scout who is not participating? I think it was Scout. I think Yagao is coming instead of Yagao. And Yagao is not even in Pigams! I cannot even choose Yagao! So I guess whoever chooses Scout will end up with Yagao. Rookie? Oh my god, Rookie? Wait, Rookie is not even here. What are you, are you trolling me, bro? I thought, like... I, I was not that closely following LP. Bin, bro, I love Bin. Look at this guy, he's so cute. Look at Bin. Oh my God, I wanna hack him. Look at, he's like so cute. Yeah, this is a bit tricky. This is definitely a bit tricky. I mean, de definitely I'm not gonna choose any Western players because I just feel like it's it's just not happening. I could choose Chovy, but I, I feel like, okay. So the thing is, I feel like as soon as Gen.G start losing, I feel like they tend to die a bit randomly and i know it dis doesn't happen often because they won probably 90 percent of their games but they did lose to hanwa in the finals right and i feel like chobi is not okay chobi is not that big of a kda player he's a great farmer he has very good game sense but he's not that big of a kda player there are bigger kda players than chobi is let me see chobi's kda for this year so he played about 52 games and his kda was 6-0 what about guma Guma Yusi's KDA was 4.1 and he played... Oh my goodness, he played like 70. What? Holy, this guy played almost 80 games. Um, What about Pace? Pace KDA was 8.9, which is insane. I think Pace KDA might be actually the best in, in, in Korea. I don't know if that's the best or not, but it's, it's quite high at least. What about Viper? What was Viper's KDA? 6.7. With 57 games. But Viper is not a bad bet, honestly. Obviously, all the AD carries and mid laners is, uh, are, are good bets. Guys, I'm not gonna put, put Mickey as the highest KDA. Mickey is definitely not. Mickey could be at like the, the most diet or something. Check Supa. What? I'm not, I'm, ne I'm never putting an Eastern player here. I mean, Western. 3.6. With a negative win rate. This is our third seed, by the way. Our third seed has a negative win rate, guys. He literally has a negative win rate. Wait, what about me? My, is my win rate better? So anyway, that doesn't really matter because I'm not a world. <laughs> uh, what about Noah? Noah has 55, 4.8. Well, anyway, I don't think I want to put a Western player. If I had to put a Western player, I might put Hans Mama. 5-0. Wait, what about no? But Caps, no Caps, nah, Caps is not a KDA player. Caps is not. Caps is Caps is playing to win, not to to live. Three point eight, yeah. Caps is definitely like win rate wise, he is insane. But KDA, no. Caps is like the biggest Inter. I think Caps is bigger Inter than Mickey is. It's just they play a different role. If Caps was playing support, he would die more than Mickey. <laughs> Mickey is two point five. Um. Okay, I'm gonna put Chovy, but this is... Uh, I'm not very confident. Honestly, you can pick you can pick anyone else. How about the support? No, I think support KDA is gonna be really bad. The only reason why last year support KDA Keria was so high was because back then you played support Caitlyn, support Ash, but now the lane swap meta will still be there at Worlds, so I don't think that supports are gonna pick that much range supports, and if there's not that much range supports, then support KDA is not gonna be good. So I don't think you can pick, KDA, uh, you can pick a support. Who will get the most first blood kills at Worlds? 
scouts. This has to be a jungler, I think. No? This has to be a jungler. Owner, Bean J, scout. All of them shared first place before. I don't know if I like... What about Peanut, actually? I feel like Peanut? Peanut? No, I think Peanut is a good one. Yo, I like Peanut. I like Peanut. Peanut is such a great and smart player. He reminds me of myself. <laughs> <laughs> he, he reminds me of myself from like five years ago. But anyway, uh, yeah, Peanut is, is really, really smart and really good. And he plays a lot of tank champions like Sejuani. He plays faci facilitator champions. He plays champions that are more about his team, not about himself. And that's why I really like, okay, he plays 12 games of Nidali. But besides Nidali, which was obviously Meta and Zyra, you have Maoka, you have Skarner, you have Sejuani. Skarner is going to be huge at Worlds, by the way. Wait! What if I put Skarner as the most picked? Because Sejuani got nerfed, Maokai got nerfed, all the AP junglers got nerfed. I think Skarner could be really, really, really good pick at Worlds. Anyway, I think Peanut is really great. Who will get at least one penta kill at Worlds? At least one? Wait, that should be really easy. Who did I pick last year? Wait, there's only three pentas last year? I think Viper, no? Viper or Peanut or Elk? Uh, maybe we put LPL player. Elk? Elk could be a good one. Which team from a region with two seats or less will advance through the furthest two planes? PCS, VCS, LLA, PC. Okay, I think PSG for sure, no? Like for sure PSG. Like for sure. It has to be PSG. This is a no-brainer, guys. This is a complete no-brainer. PSG is pretty much always in the knockout stage. They're always making, like, the next stage. Um, which team will win shortest game duration at Worlds? Whoever gets to play Mad Lions. Who is that gonna be, guys? <laughs> Actually, I don't wanna be mean to Europe, but... Uh, wait, okay, let me think. So, normally, the first seed is gonna play the fourth seed in the first round, right? This is how it works. So, I feel... Like, it would be a team that is gonna face an easy opposition. So this could, this has to be a fair seed. This has to be either BLG or Hanwa. But which team is more happy to make a complete fist fight and end quickly? Does Hanwa have short games on average? I think Hanwa's games on average are longer than BLG's. So on average, Hanwa is winning games in 31 minutes. On average wins games in... Th huh? Oh my god. Hanwa is 20 seconds faster. And 20 seconds is really long. Trust me, guys. 20 seconds is enough. It's, it's really good good time. That is tough. That is honestly... I don't even know who to pick here. It's, it's between Hanwa and Billy B. I think I'm going to pick Hanwa as the fastest game then. But this is this is ha difficult. This is really hard. No, I don't like... I think Genji games are... I think some of Genji's games are actually... Okay, when I go to Genji, you will see that Genji games are short. But that's because they win every game. So it doesn't count. 31, okay? It's omega short. But I don't think it's gonna be the same at this world. It's Genji or Hanwa. Okay, screw it. I'm just gonna put Genji. Which team will have the most Baron steals at Worlds? Okay, which jungler do I trust to have Baron steals? Mm, owner? Should I trust... Should I trust Owner? Should I trust Peanut? Should I trust Canyon? Should I trust maybe an LPL jungler? Gumayusi. <laughs> no, no, no Gumayusi. There is no PO6, so no Gumayusi. By the way, I love PO6, so don't make me flame PO6, okay? He just had unlucky smites and he still won worlds. No, I don't really think Tarzan and I don't really think Razork. I don't think Ika as well. I don't think Inspired too. Bro, if bro, if, if Inspired team dies, you will see Inspired going to the other side of the map, farming camps and taking waves. He's not gonna go and steal, okay? Trust. So I can't put Inspired. And by the way, there's a lot of junglers like this that will not risk it and they will go to the other side of the map and they will just completely abandon the hope of stealing it. So it's either has to be a jungler that is completely fearless, like Tian maybe, who is not even at Worlds. But what about... Um, wait, I had someone on, in my head. Lucid. So that one. Lucid. Lu, Lu, like, I feel like D+. Plus. It's either D+, plus or it could be Tess because of Tian. It could be D+, plus because of... Because of Canyon and uh, because of Lucid, sorry. I like Lucid because Lucid seems to be very... He's very young. He's very talented. I can see he plays the game very well. I mean, his mechanics are very, very crisp. Okay, I'm gonna flip it a little bit. I'm gonna go Damon. But I feel like Damon's not gonna make it that far, so I don't really like it. Okay, you know what? I'll just go with Hanwa. I'll just go with Peanut. Just, just carry me, Peanut, okay? Please, Peanut, carry. Peanut, please carry. It's Owner or Peanut? Or Canyon? Oh, there's so many, so many good boys in Korea. <laughs> Which team will win Worlds? Mm. So 
So as you can see, I haven't picked a G2 player to any of the most champions played and any of KDA. And then I haven't picked them in, you know, most steals or shortest game or whatever. But for the winner of Worlds, <laughs> I can pick G2 Esports as the best team that Europe has ever had and will have for years to come. Wait, no. That's gonna be my team next year. But, uh... Okay, hmm. Nah, I'm not picking G2. Uh, I mean, I would like to hope, but I'm not picking G2. Honestly, I'm gonna pick Genji. I believe Canyon. I believe Canyon can carry. Ah, but Genji is gonna choke the finals. Uh, I still wanna pick LCK team, though, because I still think LCK is better than LPL. But this is hard. I could also pick. No, I, I think, I think uh, Genji is gonna perform better than Hanwha. I know Hanwha won. Uh, LCK, but I think Genji is probably gonna perform better than Hanwha. Which team will play the most different champions at Worlds? T1? It was Weibo Gaming last year. And Billy Billy. Wait, T1 was only 35, which is third place. PDS, holy. G2. Chad, I, 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 I love G2, but, uh, you know... Uh, do we think G2 is gonna make top 4? If G2 makes top 4, I can put G2 as most champions played. But if G2 doesn't make top 4, there is no hope we, because it's about ga games played. And by the way, the reason why you see BDS here and you see BDS here and you see BDS like overall, you see BDS everywhere. I should hear the... The reason why is because BDS was in play-ins, okay? So remember that the teams that are in play-ins... I don't actually know if play-ins count, but I think they do. Do they? Actually, I'm not sure. Well, either way, I think that they do. So if play-ins count, then, you know, teams from play-ins are going to have a lot of champions. And I don't I don't think... I mean, MDK... MDK is like... is, is You know, Merwin it has a big champion pool. But besides Merwin, they don't play many champions. Like, MDK it has only Merwin. Look at Merwin, okay? Merwin played... I don't even want to count, but this is a lot, okay? This is like 10 plus champions, okay? In 20, 20 30 games, he played 10 plus champions, okay? Now... Now, now let's go to Elioya. Elioya is way more, still decent, right? He has some champions like Amumu, Lilia. I don't think he's gonna play that many champions at Worlds anyway, but he has decent. Then let's go to Freskove. Freskove has also around the, the same as Elioya, more repeatable champions, but you know, there was some experimentation. Remember that, by the way, this is just Europe. So when you look at Europe, this is gonna be this is gonna be way less champions at Worlds, okay? They are not gonna experiment that much. They are gonna play less champions. Supa. Supa is, I mean, this is an AD carry, understandable. Honestly, having like eight champions as an AD carry is still pretty good. Um, and then Alvaro. And then Alvaro played basically only melee supports. Which, I mean, it was the meta, right? But he has less, like, he has less support played than his AD carry as AD carry is played. So, I don't think I'm gonna pick, I mean, I kinda wanna pick T1, honestly. I don't wanna pick G2 because I'm afraid they will not make it that far, but I truly hope they do. I, I know I was discussing them about winning worlds, so. <laughs> but I, I truly hope, yeah, well. Really, guys? But no, but G2 doesn't play many champions either. G2 is not that versatile, guys. G2 drafts, I can already... As soon as they show what they play, they will play the same shit. They will not change much. It's not G2. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just not. Okay, well, let's play NLP. Yeah, sure. We can play Billy Billy. We, we can pick Billy Billy. I mean, let's just, have a, let's, just have a, let's just have a Chinese team here. Okay, is there anything where you disagree with me and think I'm stupid? You can definitely comment down below, but you can also use the chat. I think the most deaths at Worlds is very tricky, and I think Highest Winner is very tricky, but I, I like my odds. Poppy instead of Smolder. But why do people think Poppy? Poppy is not gonna be played besides besides mid, top, support. Okay, four rolls. But Poppy mid! Who plays Poppy mid? No one's gonna play Poppy mid. That's not happening. Okay, guys. So this is my pick. Starting bracket A. Choose four teams to advance to switch day. MDK, PSG... Um, 100 Thieves and Gum. These are my picks. Who will advance? This is very quick. This is no brainer. My goal. This is the highest champ. Michael, this is the, the best VCS team, the best LCS team from the play-ins, which is the only LCS team, the best European team from play-ins, which is the only European team, and then the best PCS team. I think SHG could be a better pick than GAM because le lately the Vietnamese has not been performing that well. But last year, I also believe GAM didn't do that well because there was some drama between selling games in Vietnam. And I don't think uh, Vietnam will have any subs this year, so that also increases the GAM chances. But yeah, I, I think that this is this is completely reasonable. It's not gonna be R7, don't even... I'm sorry. I'm so, like a South American, I'm very sorry. But it's it's either... This or this, okay? It's either this or this. Honestly... Okay, sure, let's just... Let's just... I mean, I do have 
Vietnamese did call me their brother for inting many games, so I'm just gonna go with the Vietnamese because maybe they still loved Jiang Van Kot as I was inting against the Vietnamese, so let's just go with this. MDK, PSG, Gam and 100 Thieves. Submit! That will be it. Every correct pick plus 10 points. My crystal ball is submitted as well. And I think that is just it. Actually, Evi does play in uh, S... Yeah, that was the Evi's team. I just didn't pick Evi. Shit, I feel bad now. I feel like I should trust Evi. Shit, guys, I think I need to trust Evi on this. I have to I have to trust Evi. Evi used to be my teammate last year. Okay, I, I believe that these are my picks.